Sir, Mr. President, do you know what hunger is? Do you know what hunger is? You don't. Sir, do you know what hunger is? I'll tell you. 1965, we fought a war with Pakistan. 1966, the rains failed. Do you remember that, sir? 67, the rains failed. We had to import 9 and 11 million tons of food from the United States. We were living on what is called ship to mouth. The ship would bring us the food, the wheat to eat. And Mondays we were not supposed to eat. Ma'am, you might remember that. We were not supposed to have a meal, not have dinner. Ask me. Not that my father couldn't afford it. But he was a loyal Indian and he said no. And a 15-year-old kid sleeping hungry, let me assure you it wasn't easy. And this country that begged for food and Mrs. Gandhi turned around and told her assistant, India will never beg for food again. This country that spread its hands and said, feed us, is in 2018 the second largest producer of food in the world, your country. This is the mega trend we are seeing. This is the change we are seeing. India's consumer story, according to Goldman Sachs, will be ch shaped by people like you. We call you the Gen Z, born after 2000. People like you and I. Those fellows in the front row are all oldies. They don't know. But we have, to we have to shape the future of this country. And Goldman Sachs says, this will be the world's most compelling story for the next 20 years. We can do it because we are Indians. 2015, Prime Minister said we will have 20 gigawatts. One gigawatt is a billion watts. We'll have 20 gigawatts of solar energy. We will have it by 2022. Announcement made in 2015. People said, you can't do it. We said, oh yeah, we'll show you. Four years ahead of schedule, on 31st January 2018, we produced 21 gigawatts of solar energy. <laughs> this is India's strength. People come to our hospitals. They see, we gave over 2 million medical visas last year. People coming for treatment. One of the presidents of Africa I'm privileged to serve came. When we treated him, repaired him, he said, can I see the bill? I said, no, sir, you're a guest of my government, Atiti Deva Baba. He said, no, I want to see the bill. We said, all right, see the bill. He saw it. He said, there's one zero missing. It can't be that cheap. I said, sir, we are Indians. We don't cheat our friends. We might cheat each other, but we don't cheat our guests from overseas. And he rubbed his eyes in disbelief and he said to me again, he said, Ambassador Deepak, that's why you are destined to be the best country in the universe. And I said, there's no doubt about that, Your Excellency. So what should you do as an Indian? Have faith and confidence in yourselves. Do not allow cynicism to affect you. And do you know, if you have to be scared, be afraid of fear. As we say in Hindi, darna hai to dar se daro. The great dictator Changez Khan, my hero, said, if you are afraid, don't do it. But if you do it, then don't be afraid. That is India's philosophy. When we set our minds on something, and clap if you want to, my dear young lady, don't be afraid. Your national anthem, Wo hai Bharat Bhagya Vidhata.